This is the light that I made a couple of days ago. The one on the right is the one with just one AA battery and this is the one with a 47 micro Henry inductor. This one here I made previously but you can see it is not half as bright and this one has two AA batteries but I use a 100 micro Henry inductor and it is noticeably less bright. If I touch it, if I touch it, I can feel there's no no heat or warmth at all so it's not running hot at all. This other light here you see this is actually 12 volt. This is running off a deep cycle battery and you can see the light that I made previously the one with the uh, QX5252 circuitry is much brighter. So you plug your QX5252 in and the writings on the chip I would consider that the front and then it would be one two three four and then you need an inductor this one here 47 micro Henry you can use a 33 and that goes between pin 2 and pin 4 okay and then your let me see if I can find the chip okay this is your okay here right this is your dial this is a signal fast switching dial 1N4148 and that goes to pin 4 all right that goes over here with the black band this here away from the chip okay and that goes somewhere over here so you can plug in your LED later okay and now I have my LED now pin 3 over here on this chip here pin 3 that's the negative that's a negative for the solar panel, negative for the uh, battery, negative for your LED. So that's all negative, okay? Let's, let's plug that into pin 3 over here. Sorry about that. That's the negative. And then the other end. Yes, it's more difficult with it than it looks. And the positive goes to the same side as the diode here. So that you get power from power the LED okay that's how it looks for now okay the inductor the inductor on pin 2 the pin pin 4 and then the dial goes on pin 4 with a black band away from the chip and goes over here to the positive side of your LED the negative side of the LED goes to pin 3, which is the negative for everything. Okay, so now I have the connection from the solar panel. The positive of the, of the solar panel goes to pin 1. Okay, pin 1. Alright, pin 1. Let's see if we got that right. Pin 1. And then the negative goes to pin 3 because everything that is negative goes to 
pin 3. All right, and now I need to connect the battery. Now, I don't have a, a battery holder, so I just use my charger. I put my paper clips here, and at the positive and the negative, and I use the alligator clips to make the uh, connection. So the positive of the battery wire goes to the second pin. Okay, the second pin. And the negative, again, it goes to pin 3 because pin 3 is the ground for everything here. So if I can find a spot, plug it in. Okay. Basically, my connection is now complete. Okay. All the connections are completed. Okay. And it should be working now. This is a solar panel. Let's not short everything. Okay, this is a solar panel. That's the LED. If I show you the solar panel, the light would go on, just like at night. And the light will go on. So you can add another LED in parallel. Uh, there's no need for resistors. Because this is basically using a Juthi circuit and it's actually pulsing the LED very fast. I'm not sure what the duty cycle is, but uh, it is not the uh, usual way of lighting an LED where, where you would need like a 3 volt battery to power the LED. Uh, now of course I'm just powering it with one LED and this light will stay on lit for a long long time if it is with a single LED because I have a light that is outside and it it runs the whole night and then in the daytime it will be recharged by the sun so see here you will probably be able to you probably probably be able to do this uh, by looking at this diagram here uh, which is what I have in my previous video